Hi, another week, a new week. For some, it's the same repetition of having unrealistic goals and breaking their style of dieting and fitness. So are you in that yo-yo cycle where you're constantly failing? Well, I've got a few tips that may help you. Because obviously, you keep going and repeating the same pattern year in, year out, month in, month out. Something's not working. You need to get out of that mindset. You need to get into a positive style of, yes, I've got all that. I'm known positive. But why are you failing? Understanding, setting realistic goals. These are the sort of things that people fall into. They don't realise, they don't appreciate. So for me, in my journey, I always set a pattern for myself that I know that I am realistic and how I can achieve it. So you're struggling and you're constantly going a yo-yo pattern of starting, stopping, here we go again, another month. I was on track, but suddenly went wrong. And I can't sustain it. Well, you need to understand why. You need to be able to break that pattern of failure that you're constantly repeating year in, year out. Once you understand that, understand why, then you start moving forward. So reasonable could be your goals are unrealistic. Most people are. Some are not. Some are there, but they're failing. Why? Look at the accountability side. This is where people don't make accountability for themselves. They fail, and that's where they go wrong. Setting accountability is main ownership, taking ownership, believing what you want to do. Also, the mindset. I always keep talking about mindset. All or nothing attitude. Yeah, I'm going for it, going to do it. Two weeks, three weeks down the road, something goes wrong. Bang. I failed. I've given up. No, you don't want to give up. You want to start again. Look at your plan. So setting in uh, those commitments and having a uh, mindset to help you, it goes, takes you a long way. Another factor, inconsistency in what you're doing. You're not being consistent. You do it for two days and you go off the wagon and you, and you think, I'll get back on it next week. No good. Get back on it as soon as possible rather than later. You also lack direction. It's like having a sat-nav that doesn't work. You can't put it in. You don't know where you're going. For your journey, you must have a direction. Yes, you can know as many routes to get there. You always want to get the shortest route, but sometimes you can't do it. So like your journey going from A to B, you may have to do detours, but it's getting back on track in your direction. So that's important. And lacking focus. If you lack focus, your energy will go nowhere. And you just constantly go in that cycle, fail, fail, fail. So have focus as well. So, what are my tips? Well, basically, they're so simple that you do it, you know it, but you don't imp implement it. Set realistic goals, so important. Setting a goal that you know you can achieve. Instead of going for the big win, you know you're going to fail. Small goals. For me, my journey, I want to get down to a better sprinting time. I start off being 18 seconds. And I got down to 15, then into 14. Now I'm heading towards the 13. That may take me another year, but I know it's realistic. If I just keep doing what I need to do, being focused and believing what I'm going to do and setting a plan. So be realistic in your goal. Your time span is so important. Yes, you want to lose weight, but we always want to do it too soon. Have a longer journey. you enjoy it more and it won't be so frustrating. It's creating a lifestyle that you can live and enjoy embrace sustainable changes and I'm talking about going for the short term not long term those little short term adjustments in sustainability will help you achieve a lot more see accountability is what we said before being accountable engage it's all about you now take ownership of what you're going to do day one action one small task could be anything drinking water keep saying changing food but don't make it drastic again keeping it realistic that you can maintain it daily day in day out that becomes a good habit now before you think about it you just do it as a as a natural way of doing things you know it's positive and it helps you drive cultivate build a positive mindset wow that's so important yes i'm positive all the time but are you is every day in you no know, fighting the negatives Get rid of the negative. Be positive. Believe in what you're doing. Taking opportunities to learn and grow, develop. Things like that. Have a positive outlook on your journey. My journey. For me, it's always been about achieving my goals. In the past, bodybuilding it was to win titles. Now, it's to improve my well-being in my journey towards my fitness. And it's trying to improve my sprint time. I know it's a long journey. 
but I'm aiming to get there. And slowly and surely, I will get there for the positive four. Believe in it. Okay, you have setbacks, but don't let it deter you. Just keep moving forward. You learn from the setbacks. Staying consistent is part of that journey. Be consistent. Enjoy what you're doing. And it is about being realistic in everything you try and attain every day. Your food, your fitness journey. If you're going to a gym, then make it a habit twice, three times a week. But be consistent with doing it. Not just turn up and just, I'm here, what do I do now? Have a plan. But it's being consistent in your plan that always makes you a better person. So, tracking progress. Monitor what you're achieving or not achieving. That will help you stay consistent. It helps you have that focus. It gives you that accountability. All these little things interrelate with one another. It gives you that stru- uh, that structure. It's like sewing something together. No, it, that, those little um, stitches hold it together. And that's what you're trying to build. Something that you can hold it together for st- sustainability for your future. Not just doing it once in a while, but do it regular. I've seen so many pa- p- uh, posts that people were in that change their food and that. Okay, I can guarantee that I'll see that change in another two months' time. It's doing the same thing what it did last year and the year before. It's not, it's not about, look at me doing this. It's not about what are you doing to make it positive, that it's sustainable, that you talk about it, and before you know it, it's a habit. It's not like, like here we go again with a meal. It's about, I'm doing it regular. I don't even think about it. I know my meals are so consistent. I don't think about it. I take for granted sometimes. I need to step back and reevaluate. Is it right thing I'm doing? Because I use the measurement process, track progress. Occasionally, I'll check the scales. Occasionally, I'll do my run times. Occasionally, I'll just check what I'm lifting or doing. It's those sort of things that helps you stay on track, being consistent. And again, it brings in accountability. And it brings in being realistic. So all the things we said before, like positive mindset, it all works together. But you do it slowly and, and, and you do it with progress, with progression that you are happy with. So self-care is so important. And I don't mean about you know, cleaning. It's about managing stress, making sure that your activity brings you joy and you relax. People forget about de-stressing the mind. People forget about calming the body down. So if you're hitting overload on the weight, sometimes you need to deload. Allow the body to relax. Have you ever gone back into a, a state where you're totally chilled? Probably the time you've done that is when you're on the beach. You think about it, when you're chilled out. But you should be doing it at home as well, your day-to-day routine maybe. Spend two minutes, just two minutes. Go somewhere, totally switch off the phone, take away all the electronic gadgets and just chill out. Just go in that area. Think about yourself. And I guarantee that that will help you. But... The challenge would also be empty that mind, go blank. And I bet you can't do it for more than a minute. You probably say you have, but I guarantee to go blank in your mind, it's so damn hard. That's another goal, realistic goal. Try that. Again, accountability. So you're setting those little little uh, niches in your mind every day that helps you create a better picture, a better you. Now, this is where sometimes people go wrong. They don't seek guidance. They think, you know, just read the internet, get some ideas. Sometimes you need support. You need someone. It doesn't matter who it is, you know, you're going to need someone to help you stay focused on track and look at yourself, evaluate on the lows and highs. People ought to look at the highs, fantastic, but forget about the rewards of achieving things. You should look at them as positive, reward yourself. It could be anything you want. Yeah, it might be a couple of drinks, then do it. It's about rewarding, self-satisfaction, self-enjoyment, not in, not punishing yourself when you fail. Yes, we all fail, but look at what you can do about that. So seeking guidance, I'm talking about you know, getting someone to help your family, friends, anyone, a coach, whatever. Use them to help you to achieve your goals. Be patient, be persistent. That's another key factor. You know, some people want it now, 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 want it now. I don't see results. I'll oh, forget it. Go to the next one. All you're doing is just finding excuses. Look at yourself. You know what sort of character you are. Everyone knows what they're really like. 
then be patient on how you're going to achieve the goal. That's where the milestones comes in. That's where accountability comes in. That's where setting realistic goal comes in. To create those wins every day, that it makes you feel like you know, you're on a journey. Might be small steps, but they're better being no steps. And that's what you're trying to do. Staying patient and persistent. And look at the progress. Reward yourself. Take time out and be, you know. Yeah, so sometimes we forget what you achieve. If you look back on your journey from last week, one month, two months, a year ago, keep remembering where you've come from. That helps you stay focused and it sets you the, the belief that I am achieving something. And that's what it's all about, achieving small steps for bigger wins. Enjoy that. And the last thing that people keep saying is all that. Learn from your past mistakes. You know what has worked and what hasn't worked. The things that hasn't worked, look at why. Why hasn't it worked? Why didn't it work for you? Where everyone else is achieving so much more. It's learning, understanding yourself. Everyone's different. Reflecting on the past can give you victories for the future. And that's what I keep doing. Keep looking at what you've done in the past. The good things. Yeah, I've done some great stuff and I love it. They always keep me inspiring and it gives a smile to my face when I look back on many of things. At age of 60, getting my pro card. Wow. I never thought I'd do it, but I did. Two, look at the things that you failed on. God, I'll remember some stuff I never could do. And I think, wow, I had done. They're little things. For me recently, the things that I was surprised about, something so simple, but it brings a smile to my face. Nearly down on my feet, <clears throat> onto my ankles and jumping onto my feet. Couldn't do that a year, five years ago. I did it the other day. And I was like, wow, that's so simple. But I failed it many a times. Then I achieved it. Wow, that gives you elevation of moving forward. So you may have failed in your weight loss. Don't worry about it. Okay, get back. Look at the times when you do lose weight. Look at what you did, how you did it. But that brings a smile to your face. You can do it again. And that's what it's all about, doing it again, believing in yourself. So... If you want to break free from the yo-yo style, create small little wins, create positivity. Those little actions I said, use them and you'll believe. You, know, you might not be able to do all of them at once, but little steps towards greatness is what it's all about. Anyway, if you need help, dear me. Otherwise, have a great week, great time of creating a new you. Enjoy your journey. Take care.